Are you looking for a cool little way to display your photos in Canva? I got a new trick for you. Come on, let's go play and I'll show you how I did it. So I'm going to show you this in two different ways. The first way is just a very simple way of how to do this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my photos. And so these are the new trending photos. So, you know, I'm just going to pick off of those. So I am going to pick like this one and that's going to be my first photo, right? So what I want to do with my second photo, I'm going to grab him right here and I'm going to pull him down teeny, 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 like so. And I'm going to put him in the center. And what I'm going to do is take his transparency down, down to zero. Now, once that is complete, I am going to go and I'm going to duplicate my page. And then when I go to duplicate my page, I'm going to grab his picture again. I am going to take the transparency back up to 100. And then what I'm going to do is take that picture and line it right back up over top of the the first photo like so and then i'm going to go in between here i'm going to get match and move i'm going to turn it all the way up and then you can shorten these up if you need to but i'm going to just click it here and then you can see it's going to come from the center and it's going to rise into your photo so now we want to grab another photo and do the same thing so we'll grab this one right here we're going to take that and make it baby 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 small you can make it small as you want to it really doesn't matter and then i'm gonna put it in the center or center ish if you're in a hurry do the same thing i'm going to take the transparency all the way down and once i do i'm going to go in here and i am going to duplicate the page and then when i get into the duplicate page i'm going to grab the teeny weeny picture i'm going to take the transparency all the way back up and then I'm going to fill it in over top of the other photo, like so. And I'm going to cover that photo. And then if it doesn't transfer your match and move, just put your match and move back in over there, turn it all the way up. And then you can check it out and make sure that it flies in and it flies in. So that's how you do that part. Now I had a suggestion on Facebook when I initially put this out about doing something like a frame or something. So I made these frames a while ago. Let me change the background color so it looks a little bit better back there. Let's put it into maybe something like this. So I made these a while ago. So what you want to do if you want to use like a frame or you want to create your own frame somehow, not a Canva frame because if you use it where you set the pictures in, it doesn't work. And if you can get it to work, please leave it in the comments. Everybody might want to know, but I think you really don't need to use a frame for this. I mean, it would be helpful for sizing, but you know, sometimes you just can't use certain things. Um, so what I'm going to do is go back up into the photos where, where's my photos? Here we go. We're going to go into photos and let's grab this one. So what you want to do with that is you want to sit there and line it up like you want to into your frame. So I'm going to cut it down to here. I want to move them up because I want I want the I want them in there. So I want to go here. Pull it in here. Here like so. So what you're going to do just to keep it in your frame, you want to go into your position. Always when you do this trick right now, always make sure your frame will be on top of your photo. So now I got it on top of my photo. Now I want to get me another photo. So that's my initial photo. So I'm going to go into photos again and I'm going to grab something else. Let's grab these people here and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to angle it up. I'm going to cut it down to where I want it to be. And I'm going to get it small like so. And then I'm going to just going to, let's see, crop that in here. And then what I want to do is look in my position and make sure that they're lined up. So I want this behind my frame. So you want your initial one, the one you're going to transition, and then you want your frame on top. So now that I know I got that in place, what I want to do is I'm going to take it down to the baby size, just like the other stuff. And I'm going to put it in the center and you take it down as far as you want it to go. And then what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate the page just like the others. 
Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I forgot one thing. What did I forget, people? I forgot to lower my transition down. Oh, my transparency down to zero. So make sure I clip here because you're going to have that on top. So you're going to have to use your positions. So, and then I'm going to take that photo that I'm getting ready to transition and I'm going to take that down to zero. And then I'm going to duplicate my page. And then I'm going to click on it again. I'm going to bring it back up to size. I'm going to take my transparency up. I'm going to use, make sure that your frame is still on top. And then what I'm going to do is put my match and move in there. Like so. I'm going to, because I want the time and good. And then I'm going to go check it. So let's go check it and see what it does. And it'll rise inside of your frame. So you can do the same thing. Just remember, if you're going to make a frame to do that with, or you can use like a square, if you're going to do like a square background with a gradient or something, you leave that in the background. So let's say you do that with a, let's uh, change this up real quick. Uh, let's get rid of the frame here. Uh, position. All right, we'll just take the frame out. We'll delete that. And then we'll come over here and we'll delete this one. So let's say you want to, let's go back to the first one. You want to use like a square for a gradient or something in the background. So let's go over to elements. Let's grab a square. Maybe. Come on. Give me a square. Oh, I got hearts for some reason. Okay. Let's, let's grab a square. Uh, let's put it in like a harsh gradient so we can see it. Let's do something dark. So say I wanted to use this as a background like to make it look like it's a frame. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do this like so. Put that down like so. I am going to go in position. And that one, because I'm just using that as behind it. What I want to do when I uh, go to my next frames, I want to make sure that's in the back. That always stays in the back. So if you have like a fancy frame that you want to put over top of the pictures, Make sure that's in front at all times. And if you want to do something simple as use like a square or something on the background or maybe like uh, I think a cool like would be something that maybe looks like a letter or something and you're putting pictures on top of it. I think that would be cool. Make sure that stays in the background. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to control C that and then I'm going to come over here and hopefully control V that and then I'm going to put that in the same spot in the background so we can see there that when the effect happens you still have that kind of frame back there and this is still new and if you have any more kind of ideas please let me know uh, leave them in the comments we can play and make cool things and i love you guys if you're on my facebook and you make some cool stuff please show me i love you and i will see you on the next one bye y'all